Good evening, it's Erin Simon from Simon Family Investment Ventures. This is a super quick video. I told you I want this to be a very comprehensive journey that we're taking as we're learning the different aspects of silver. So one of the important aspects of silver that allow you to understand its importance is that it has two very significant uses. The first is monetary, the second is its industrial use, okay? It's used in television screens, Tesla batteries, solar panels, cell phones, laptops, medical equipment and devices, okay, and a few other different products. With that being said, I wanna to talk to you about the solar panel aspect, okay? These heads of corporation need the silver in order to produce their products. China has a solar panel initiative right now. That is going to drive scarcity up, as well as the demand for silver, which is gonna drive the price of silver up. We wanna get started now before all of these things go into full play. Biden, our president-elect, is gonna start a solar panel initiative for commercial properties in California. It's going to be mandatory should his bill get passed. South Africa has a solar panel initiative where investors are leasing solar panels to commercial businesses, as well as schools, um, nursing homes, and anything that's even considered a business. And they're paying those investors in Bitcoin. Those solar panels need silver. So silver right now is $25 an ounce. It is extremely affordable to get started in investing with, okay? Um, and investing in, not with, but investing in. Um, you can get silver from multiple dealers. Uh, Atmex is one of my choices. They have a large variety of silver that you can choose from and JM Bullion, and you can basically Google um, silver dealers. So another thing that I really want you to be on par with, because we talked about in the last video, when you're investing, you have to be on top of world events. You have to be on top of what's going on in the market. There's an awareness there that you really want to get in touch with, okay? So silver is on pace to be extinct by 2025. What does that mean? It means that it will no longer be able to be mined in its raw form. The other interesting thing is with all of those products that I named, the, the television screens, cell phones, computers, Tesla batteries, um, medical devices and instruments, once that silver is used in that product, they don't even recycle it. It's just in that product and now it's gone. So that scarcity is going to come to a head when you're no longer able to mine silver. It'll be gone. And you would be able to put yourself in a position to sit in front of heads of corporation and say, I have something you can't get your hands on. Let's talk money. Another very important aspect of silver that I would like for you to be aware of is J.P. Morgan Chase is the world's largest holder of silver. I'm going to say it one more time. J.P. Morgan Chase, a bank that has so much access to fiat funds, is the world's largest holder of silver. So much so, they caught a RICO charge. They had to pay billions of fines, and they had to liquidate um, a portion of their portfolio. But they have so much silver, that little portion that they liquidated didn't even mean nothing. I'm sure they figured out a way to buy it back up. If they are the world's largest holder of silver, you have to ask yourself why. They're high net worth individuals. They can hold gold. What is their uh, motivation for holding silver? It's simple. Silver has an industrial use. 
J.P. Morgan Chase wants the heads of corporations to come and see them, to come talk to them about, you got a product that needs what I have? Let's drive these prices up so I can sell it to you. Where in this particular time, silver can 10x. Silver is $25 an ounce right now. It could be $250 an ounce. It could be $750 an ounce. J.P. Morgan Chase can manipulate the market for it to be $4,000 an ounce, especially if it can no longer be mined. Okay? You want to get your hands on it. You want to see, you want to follow the money. What are high net worth individuals doing? This requires a lot of research, a lot of vetting. I'm going to share as much information with you as possible. My husband is an investor. He spends anywhere from six to eight to 10 hours a day just doing research so he can manage our portfolio, okay? He's a charts and numbers guy. He's current events. I'm gonna try to get the information from him and report it to you so that we can have a nice um, general understanding on what we need to do. I'm not going to give you anything of complexity with candlestick wedges. We're not going to do any of that. But I do want you to understand if J.P. Morgan Chase is the largest holder of silver, so much so that they cut a RICO charge, it is so they can position themselves to sell their inventory to heads of corporation to produce their products. You want to do the same thing. Thing. You want to start establishing your portfolio, start with the numismatic coins, and then you want to fill in with silver rounds, with bars, um, bullions, and sled, slow and steady wins the race. Okay, um, in the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about the different aspects of the silver portfolio that are liquidatable, that you should start to collect just so for a time such as that one, that's what you want to liquidate. Because again, you never want to liquidate your numismatic coins until it reaches that maturation where you can really um, optimize your um, return on investment. So I just wanted to do that real quick with you. Uh, silver is a great way to get started. It's very affordable at $25 an ounce. Um, and it's that consistency we talk about, it's that self-discipline, and it's that delayed gratification. It's prioritizing your money. No one's sacrificing anything at $25 an ounce. You're not sacrificing anything at $150 an ounce. You are simply prioritizing your money. You are establishing a mindset that says, this is so important that I'm going to be consistent and diligent with it every single month in order to reach a specific outcome. Gaining these hard assets is a great way to work towards a retirement that's not there for many people. I'm a 1099 I'm global contractor. There's no retirement, there's no medical. Right? I gotta create that for myself. I told you I have four sons. One of my sons has seizures. We gotta handle that out of pocket. Okay? So what we do is we position ourselves where we create our own medical fund, right? Which Liquid, it's just as good as health is probably better because I hear about some of the co-pays that people had back in the U.S. I used to work for a hospital in Cincinnati. My co-pays were absolutely ridiculous. Um, and the deductibles and all of that other stuff. This will allow you to position yourself for retirement. Position yourself for your medical um, necessities and needs. If you have dreams of house buying, this is a great way to offset house buying. You pay that mortgage for 30 years. You do have the asset, but then you have to say, when I bought this house 30 years ago, the neighborhood wasn't as bad as it is now. So that depreciated the house. I can't afford to keep up um, fixing the different aspects of the house. That depreciates, and it's not an asset now. It's a liability. That property is a liability. Had you been collecting silver every single month, for 30 years, you have a ton of wealth and wealth that can be easily passed down to children and grandchildren and great grandchildren and so on and so forth. Get started now while we are at the beginning of this trend. Okay? If you guys have questions, I'm happy to FaceTime. 
I believe when we're talking about wealth and we're teaching that there should be a face-to-face -face engagement. I want you to look me in my eye and know that I'm telling you God's honest truth and that we're going to do everything we can to help get you started versus, you know, email or phone or whatever. Um, I like that face-to-face -face interaction, especially when we're talking about your future or your children's future or your, your grandchildren's future. Okay, so um, feel free to email me. Let me know, like, hey, Erin, can we meet up at this particular time? If I notice I'm getting an overwhelming response and wanting to meet, the next video will have a Calendly link, and we can do it that way. But I think it's extremely important that if you want to get started and you have questions, I want to be able to answer your specific question. Okay, and we're happy to do it. Um, that's all for today. I just wanted to just kind of emphasize why it's important to get your hands on silver. Um, and if you need anything, just let me know. Have a great night, you guys.